thinking about shared stewardship, you're seeing it in action through the Rogue Forest Partners. We have uh, Oregon Department of Forestry at the table. We have our federal partners at the table, non-government organizations, our tribal partners. This is shared stewardship in action. As we see these lands get treated, we see good paying jobs rolling out. We're moving into the era of increasing that restorative work and shared stewardship is right here, right now. Federal Forest Restoration funding has really, really helped the collaborative efforts. A lot of the problems on our forests are not just owned by big agencies or can be solved by counties or individual organizations. So FFR has, has invested in filling gaps. The other thing it's done is, is invested in strategy. One of our pillars of the work that we do is a Rogue Basin strategy. And that strategy just really facilitates figuring out where to go, what to do, how to do it. I mean, it just shortens the time. It describes a vision of treatments in these strategic locations that uh, all of these partners can agree on. The analysis that ODF paid for shows what the return will be, demonstrating that if we do all of these treatments, we can reduce the risk to homes and to wildlife habitat by 70%. The other thing that FFR has helped with is with bringing together different groups that have different ideas about how to get the work done, but are kind of siloed and they don't talk to one another. So some of that funding has allowed us just to have meetings and to do, conduct surveys and to investigate ways of getting a common language and a common vision. This initial project here on Mystery Creek, uh, we've, we've hired a, a local contractor. This is a, a woman-owned, tribally-owned business with a, a local workforce. So uh, as a non-government organization, Lomakatsi has our technical team of, of foresters and technicians that are employed on this project, and then um, our in-house workforce that will do a lot of the uh, chainsaw work and the prescribed burning and the thinning work, and then service providers that we subcontract with. Since fire seasons have become longer, this is a full-time 12-month-a-year position for people. Folks are coming off of 90 days to 100 days of fire, and they're right on the ground doing forestry work. So we're trying to build uh, this industry, increase this forest restoration industry, and projects like this uh, enable us to do that. Collaboration brings people together, builds capacity, builds understanding, transparency, trust, and greater investment to get to an outcome across a vast landscape, but done in a way that works for nature and for people. The heavy lift of initial treatments is expensive, but we will need to continue to do maintenance really similar with collaboration, we need to maintain those relationships. We need to maintain those conversations. We're developing new partnerships. So just as restoration is ongoing and is in perpetuity, so is collaboration. We're going to need to continue maintaining those zones of agreement so we can continue the restorative work.